All right, we gotta go, I think, emote mode only, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, 25, 27. I guess I'll play Karl Khan. I, I could play Modern, too. Doesn't, not, not a big deal. Uh, let's play this. Take with the G pawn, not the E pawn. I'll go. Hmm. I guess I'll go here in E6. I don't know if this is right. Go E6 here, of course. I'm going to go check and maybe Queen A6. Got Knight H4 and I drop back. Fantastic. Could go to D3. This looks kind of weird, so I'm going to do it. Normally, I wouldn't do this, but this looks kind of just weird enough that I want to do it. Yay! I've got this weird yo-yo with the queen and the bishop. I can go knight d7 in castles. If I go here. Whatever, I'll develop. C4, I drop back. I also have queen a5. Yeah, but it's not... Gr eh, I could check... Yeah, actually, I think I should do this. I think I should check and probably go here and force a trade. Just play an end game here. I mean, I don't love my position, but I, I think... I mean, this is tr true classic Magnus Carlsen style. Just play an end game here. Let's take with the queen. Let's see what he's going to do. <clears throat> Just trying to play an end game here. I mean, it's not easy to win this position, mind you, but I feel like I'm doing okay. There's F4, which I think is a slight mistake. Um, gonna castle. Mistake is maybe too strong a word to use, but I feel like I'm better. Okay, goes there. Okay, I can go F5. Actually, I think I should just play F5. And then like Knight F6 somewhere. Here, idea 94. Maybe bishop h5 is a move too. I feel like I've got this hook on e4. I can stack the two towers as well. Let's go here. I want to stop rook d1. I also want to go like rook d7 and rook d8. Now his knight is kind of boxed. If he goes back, he yields the square. So he can't really move the knight. So it's not really clear why white shouldn't just be worse here. Okay, it's very deep in the tank. I'm up over a minute on the clock here. Tick tock. Of course, we are playing with increments, so the time isn't that big of a deal for my opponent yet. I did a knight g4. Ah, uh, did I have knight g4, rookie one, knight two, rook h1, knight g4, knight f5. Whatever. Whoa. Um, I did not actually expect that. Uh, I guess I take. Go here, pressure the pawn. I mean, I've got this nice little rook d3 trick. And the bishop covers d1. And I think I'm just winning. He's too slow here. Too Way too slow. I think I'm just winning. Is this just a free juicer? Yeah, it's just a free pawn. And now the knight's horrible versus my bishop, basically. Go here, activate my light square B shop. Now A2 hang, let's go check. Kick the knight out of town. Let's take away the square. Go here, pressure the knight. Active kebab in play potentially. Okay, now I think I just bring the king up. Can't move the knight to the chuck. I just keep bringing the king. Here comes the king. Here comes the king. The return of the king, I guess, is the saying. Go 
So check. B5. Oh, wait. No, we check king b5. Go here with this mate idea. This should be winning. Yeah. Okay, we got the win. Check mate. Okay, one up, one down. Let's Magnus already won also. So things we should not ban in chat for the four thing. You have Felipez for the tier one thing. You have the black cloak for the tier one. All right, let's see who's still playing. Uh, let's see who else is still playing. Round number one. Let's watch Daniel Naroditsky. He is ahead by a bishop. He's gonna win too. So let's watch Hans Neiman. Let's see. Magnus won three minutes. Yeah, we both won about the same time. Hans Neiman is winning. Let's see what else do we have. Wesley So is playing against Josh. Apparently knight b5 wins, but zero chance it gets played. Yeah, zero chance knight b5 and a3 gets played. Um, let's move on. What else do we have? I thought, um, who else was playing? I forgot. I thought there was someone else playing too. I think it was a D-man for the 20 months. Appreciate it. Yeah. Do I think what Ali Rez is doing correct is, is correct? I don't really like, I don't really like what Ali Rez is doing. I, I mean, the re main reason that I, I really don't like it, um, broadly speaking is, is quite simple. Uh, Ali Reza had many chances to qualify for the candidates. He, he, he had the chance to play the World Cup. He chose not to play in the World Cup. There's a FIDE statement. Okay. I mean, he, he could have played, he could have played in the World Cup and he chose not to play in the World Cup. He chose to play limited amounts of tournaments this year. So to suddenly now at the very end, it's like, okay, but now, now I need to try it, try and get in. It doesn't really, he, he didn't really try, he didn't try the most in, in, in the opportunities that he had. So that's what kind of rubs me the wrong way about it. That being said, um, obviously, uh, when you look at the whole situation, I mean, this is part of the system, right? Like it is what it is. Anybody can do this. Like, you know, I could go tomorrow and play I could go, you know, I could go play some 2,500, um, and beat them every game and get to like 2,850. Um, and there's nothing really that stops me from doing that. Like that is just the reality. There's nothing that stops me from doing that. So, um, you won't gain rating. Yes, you will. You will. You will gain rating. Why don't I have a picture? Some part of chess.com broke. Um, so yeah, I think you heat miser for the day. Thank you care for the 35. Thank you David Chang for the two months. Appreciate it. Thank you David Chang. Appreciate it. Thank you for the resub. Yeah. So anyway, whoa, thank you so much to Boomy for the five give of subs. Thank you so much to Boomy. Appreciate it. So yeah, anyway, that's that's the uh that's the bottom line. Am I afraid to face Ali Reza? Well, apparently there's a FIDE statement that I guess I'm gonna have to cover on the break. Um uh, someone linked it. Uh FIDE, let me go to Twitter, I guess. No, th there was a there was an actual statement or something. Oh, there it is. FIDE news, okay. Um I think it's going to be long. Thank you, Sparky, for the four months. Appreciate it. What do we have? Okay, let, let's see. What What is this? Uh, probably we have time to cover this before the next round. So let's see. Um, feed a statement. Let me change the scene, of course. Uh, where Where is my scene? There, there's my scene. Okay, we, we have the feed a statement, right? So, all right. We have... Uh, FIDE statement on rating specific tournaments stay on December 18th. The mini matches featuring GM Ali Reza Ferrucci, ELO 2750 began in Chartres, France, his hometown. The eight game tournament pits Ferrucci against three veteran players with an average rating of 2497 ELO points. Concerns have arisen regarding the tournament's potential purpose, whether it was orchestrated to aid Mr. Ferrucci in boosting his rating for potential qualification into the candidates tournament in 2024. The International Chess Federation would like to point out that according to clause 0 0.4 of its rating regulations, FIDE reserves the right to not write, rate a specific tournament. FIDE has already sent an official request to the organizers of the event. We will carefully follow and investigate all aspects of the organization of the above mentioned tournament and all the games played by its participant before deciding whether to raid it. Wait, no. So they didn't actually say they won't raid it though. This just says they will reserve the right. Um, it just says they'll reserve the right. Um, the International Chess Federation is dedicated to addressing not just specific cases, but also similar occurrences that may arise. Discussions will be held to explore potential amendments to the FIDE rating regulation aiming to prevent such situations in the future. FIDE reiterates its unwavering commitment to upholding fair play and ensuring equal opportunities for all players. Okay, so yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, that doesn't that doesn't really say anything. That just says they reserve the right specifically. So we'll see. 
Thank you so much, Diego Spencer, for the nine months. Thank you, my rates for the nine months. Appreciate it. I mean, the difference between this situation, I'll, I'll tell you guys what the difference is, though, between this and the Ding situation. The Ding situation, Ding's rating did not matter. Ding just had to play 30 games. If he could have played someone on the moon and the game counts, that's all Ding needed was to play 30 games. That's all he needed. The rating didn't really matter that much. Whereas for Ali Reza, it's, he needs to increase his rating. So by playing much weaker players here at the very end of the year, an unannounced event that suddenly popped up, it does look extremely suspicious. Um, thank you so much to Jampion, Jampion for the Prime. Appreciate it. What they were saying, don't make it too obvious or before it's not to rate it. Okay, whatever, you guys. Cool story. Thank you to Rod OM for the 28 months. Appreciate it. Uh, I mean, Ali, Ali Reza, of course, I mean, he could have played the FIDE World Cup. He chose not to play the FIDE World Cup. In fact, it seemed as though he made an active effort to avoid playing serious tournaments this year. Um, so he made an active effort to avoid playing serious tournaments. And now suddenly at the end, it's like, it's like you have this random match against weak players. And I mean, it's within the rules, I think, but it's very, very cheesy. It's very, it's very cheesy. I mean, my, my general takeaway is simple. You probably have to have some criteria that that um you have so, you have to have some criteria that is very clear cut to prevent such a situation i don't know if you can do like average rating you can't easily do because in an open tournament someone could play an, an average rate player i think alpha jacob for the sub months play night of three here um so i don't know how you do it but there's got to be some specific criteria you have in place I, I i don't really know what what it is specifically but i think you have to thoughts on dominguez withdrawing not to lose rating points yeah well dominguez i i've said it before there's so many haters out there who like to pretend that i make things up and i just do things for clicks blah 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 etc etc at the end of the day what i say is based on reality um and so like when i talk about top players and ensuring your qualification in next year's grand chess or things like this and making your income that is what top chess players are thinking about even if people want to pretend that's not the case um so with dominguez i understand his rating is 2751 um i myself made it very clear i said that in i think 2018 back before i was a back when i was a professional chess player i made um I made 40% of my income from the Grand Chess Tour. 40% of my income from the Grand Chess Tour alone. And so if you lose 40% of your income, especially at the age that Dominguez is at, that is gonna that is gonna be a very serious hit to your income. And Dominguez is already someone who's on his way towards retirement. So I mean, I, I don't I don't know why people um why people are shocked by it. To me, it's it, of course as a former professional chess player, I under I understand it completely. So yeah, I mean it's 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 just basically what it is, is what I would say goes there um i'm gonna play here i've got rook b1 i've got like knight a4 knight a4 is probably knight a4 knight c5 is just much better but who cares so okay goes rook d8 okay now i think i should take space with knight a4 maybe b4 b5 even i feel like i'm getting some space here with the two b's it's also knight c5 i should be better here Knight d4, I just take. Yeah. So, yeah, as far as Dominguez goes, I completely understand it. Um, I mean, I, I think that a lot of people don't understand it, and there's a shock they withdrew, but I get it. He was worried he'd lose more rating points. Candidates was out the window, and if the candidate's out the window, you want to ensure your income for the following year, especially for someone like Dominguez, who I think has two kids. I mean, he has a family, all these things. Like, it's 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 a very logical choice, and I, I completely understand it. You know, NH Pickleball for the 34, then you ate in our chest for the 50 month resub. Appreciate it. So, yeah, I mean, I know there are going to be a lot of people like, how can you, how can you say it's okay or whatever? Like, I just really like, just deal with it. Um, I'm not playing this game very well, by the way. I guess I'll, eh. I guess I'll go A3 and T. I actually don't like my position here. Maybe I take with the pawn, though. Maybe I take this. Eh, I don't know. I don't know. I could have also played Knight A6, maybe. With b5 maybe so i think now i'm just gonna go i think i'm gonna go back to a4 i'm just gonna sit and chill here and try to improve my position slowly but surely let's go here i think eventually i want to go back maybe stack the rooks maybe see what he does Okay, now I think I, I think I've got to go back here. He's trying to bring his knight in, so I need to put the knight back. I think now I'm gonna go a4 though. Take away this jump. 
Okay, let's go here. Cover the C4 square. No jump. I've got A5, B5. The two Bs eventually should win me the game. But there's a very deep positional sort of situation here. Let's just give me B5. Yeah, it's getting very ugly for my opponent. I've got Bishop B4 now. And now I think he's got a big problem with the queen too. I've got knight a6 with a big hook here to win material. Also knight d3, also knight b7, also queen b1. Um, this looks very das dastardly. Is that a word? I don't know what that is. Um, go here. I should be winning here. The queen b8, I have knight e6. Okay, rook b8 allows knight a6 anyway, though. Classic fossil here, and I win the... Um, this should be correct. Okay, we got the win. Two out of two. Good stuff. Let's see, Magnus, he is playing against somebody. Daniel's still playing, or... Okay, Magnus playing Aloha Mora. Okay, Magnus has two beats. He's not probably much better, but he will win this just because of the time situation. Uh, thank you so much to that Chit Town dude for the 21 months. Appreciate it. So, um... All the rest of the opponents just made a ridiculous double question mark move. Uh, are the games being relayed? Because I saw they were on Blitz streams, but I didn't see them anywhere. Are they on Chess 24? I mean, I don't I don't know where the games are. Yeah, the opponent just made a double question mark move out of the blue. Um, oh, they are on Chess.com? Okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, there it is. Race of the Canis, it's there. His opponent just made a double question mark move. What do you mean? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what is this? No, all I was, wait, why is the board off too, by the way? Um, oh, it's the wrong scene. Um, er, okay, there we go. Yeah, I mean, what is this? No, all I was his opponent just gave up the, what what is no let, let me mute the sound let, let me mute this um what is knight b3 here you you just take and play rook f8 and you're a little bit worse i mean i i mean white can try to pretend that he has some play here with the knights but black's just much better and gonna win the game thank you to pop and bugs for the nine they ate suppress for 36 months appreciate it yeah okay Okay, let's get back to the Magnus game. Um, let's unmute this tab and keep going. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. Um, strange, but whatever. Um, okay, Magnus is winning, of course. What else is new? Or he did win. Uh, let's see who else is still playing. Daniel playing. He is up an extra rook, so Daniel will win too. So he'll be two out of two as well. Yeah. Ali Reza missed it. I mean, come on, Ali Reza, is, Ali Reza is gonna win. Yeah. Uh, my take on the Chennai GM, I have not really been following, um, I've not been following chess very closely for the last week or so, ever since the tournament ended, um, in Canada. So I haven't really been looking at Chennai. I know that Parham lost early, which ruined his chance to qualify by raiding. Um, I know Arjun was winning today or something. I saw something, but yeah, I haven't been looking very closely. Magus is not streaming. Magus does not really stream much. Um, and yeah, no, I'm not, not shocked. Makes sense. So Gukesh is winning. Oh, is oh Gukesh is the sole leader? Whoa, what? Okay, wait. Actually, sorry, I've been out of it. Apparently, I've been out of it then. Oh man. Yeah. Oh, if um if Gukesh wins, he's in the candidates, right? Gukesh wins round one round four and five. I have not been following very closely. Um so yeah, thank you so much to that Mazzatino for the 14th thing of the sports lawyer for the eight months. Yeah, you know what? You know what? You, I got to be honest, you guys. You know what time it is? It's time for Anish Giri. It's 12:19. Anish Giri needs to arrange a 12 game match with his wife. Um, you know, at some club in in, in the Netherlands. And um, yeah, it's time for Anish to organize organize like a 12 game match with his wife. Um, you know, at the local chess club. It's time for it. You know it. Yeah. I mean, she might be too low rated to be honest, so it might not be enough. But yeah, he needs he he needs to find like that. He needs to find that twenty three hundred. He needs to find that twenty three hundred. Play a ten game match and get the rating spot. Yeah. So, all right. Let's see. Are we done with round two? 
Yeah. He can farm Benjamin Bach. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Basically, he, he needs to play Benjamin Bach in like a six game match, right? Yeah. No, and, and, and you know, this is the problem, though. This is actually a problem with the system. This is possible for anybody. Um, it, it, I, I think what I would say, though, is for most players, it's a little bit too it's a little bit too low for them to do. That, that's what I'm going to say. It's too low. Like, honestly, like, uh, you, you know, I, at some point before I uh, before I before the tournament in Doha was happening, I very briefly thought about trying to play like a tournament in North Carolina. Um, like trying to play a tournament in North Carolina or something to get the games in, to get the games in versus, of course, the ratings. The ratings didn't matter as much. Um, but I try, I was trying to get the games in. And I just thought like it's too cheesy, it's too, it's too silly. So like I, I ended up choosing to play Doha and play the Grand Grand Swiss and just get my full, get get the full events in that I needed. Um, so like for me, it's a little, it's a little bit too, too silly. But I mean, again, anybody can do this. Anybody can do it. Um, and that's the problem. Did I consider it very briefly, but it's like, it's just too, it's just too cheesy. It's just not right. So, uh, thank you so much to Anki Jayon for the two things you passed upon for the 57 months. Appreciate it. So, yeah, I mean, Ding did not do it in the same way. Ding just needed to get the games for activity. Ali Reza needs to win every game. If Ali Reza just needed the games, he could just, he could just arrange like a, a, a six game match against, I don't know, Maxime Vasha the Grav or something if he, if he just needed the games, but he needs the game points. So he needs to play against really weak players. That's the bottom line. Um, they do Lykanos for the 15 months. Thanks so much Lykanos. Appreciate it. Um, check the Anish and Wesley Twitter. I don't really want to check it. I don't know what's going on with Wesley. I mean. Wesley is someone who's been like very off of social media, off of doing this stuff, not not sort of getting into it. And now suddenly he's like posting like 10 tweets every day or something. And I'm kind of confused with, or maybe 10 tweets every every hour. And I'm just kind of confused. I, I'm a little bit confused by the whole thing. Thank you so much to Resin Belief for the 28 La Bernada for the 10 months. Check Twitter. I, I don't want to check Twitter. I, I don't want to check Twitter right now. No. Um, yeah. This whole situation sets up the stage for a group of unqualified cans who have no business being world champions. Well, it is what it is. Also, where's game number three? We still haven't started. Um, Wesley kept tagging you, asking you to join his team. Well, you know, there's also another fee there, there's another separate issue, which is the FIDE issue, which is that um, the current FIDE president, Arkady Dvorkovich, I believe the terms were changed so that he can um, so that he can run for a third term as FIDE president. I know like Levon Aroni was very unhappy with that. Um, but again, like my, my attitude towards a lot of these different things, uh, we still have one game going. My, my general attitude towards all these things is I really just don't care. And the reason that I say that I don't care is because when I look at these issues, all, the, all these chess players are complaining about a variety of things. But you know, at the end of the day, if chess players refuse to work together as one, they sort of refuse to agree on things broadly as, as a collective group, then nothing's ever going to happen. And that's exactly why I just don't care about this. Because when someone complains about something nice and fine, but then maybe like, maybe, maybe like stand up for other people on other issues. Maybe everybody can work together towards a common goal rather than being just like one off. Everybody complains about this, that, and the other thing. Um, so I really just don't care. I think it was your proxy for the prime. King G7, King G8. Yeah, still a draw. Yeah. No, I mean, that's just the bottom line. Like, I just don't care. Thank you, Dennis Fit, for the 23 months. Like, it, it applies to almost every issue, actually. Like, it, it applies to literally every issue on the planet. You could you could talk about the Han situation. You, you could talk about, um, you could talk about, like, issues with the Grand Swiss or little, little things I didn't like. You could talk about things like people complaining about the Qatar Masters. Everyone's complaining about this, that, and the other thing. But it, when push comes to shove, people don't stand up, uh, stand up and support each other. It's just like they pick their individual issues that they want to complain about. And if that's going to be the case, nothing is ever going to change. The players have no power. Uh, thanks so much to Jay Schlack for the 26 month reset. So appreciate it. Yeah. Will I play the SEC next year? I think I will. Yeah. But you always complain at the beginning of the tournaments. Generally, I do actually, or I, I make sure not to complain about the day the day that I lose. Let's put it that way. Um, Maybe a wingman. You know, like I Grand Swiss is one example where like I, I actually like I was very unhappy with two things before the tournament started. I did bring them up, but then nobody else nobody else bothered to say anything there. Everyone else was just quiet. They didn't say anything at the players' meeting. Um, thank you so much to play it by year for the 12 months. So yeah, I mean that that's just the bottom line. It's like it's just okay. Um 
it, Ollie Russ is playing in France. So let's play the French. It's a bad opening, but let's play it anyway. Um, let's go B6, Bishop A6. It's a bad opening, but in honor of the French. Yeah. Bishop C3 is playable, but I'm going to go Bishop F8 and Bishop A6. I had this, I think, in Pamplona against Alfonso Romero Holmes in like 2003, I think it was. I think it was like 2003 or 5. I don't remember. Anyway, we got Queen G4. Uh, I'll trade the bishops, of course. Let's go C5. Queen D6. I got to be careful. There is a Queen A4 move that I just realized exists. I guess I'll go h5, attack the queen. <clears throat> Probably I should go like knight e7, knight f5 maybe. Yeah. I think I'll go here and maybe knight f5 somewhere. It's a little bit hard to judge the position, but I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay here. Maybe Gidget, Gidget Tabby for the 27 month reason. G4 I don't actually like. I feel like that's a bad move, but I don't know. Maybe it's not. CD4, knight d4, knight g6, gh5, knight e5, castles, knight c4, a little bit messy. Oh, wait, no, no, I can't. No, no, wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. Rook c8 and then knight f. I think I'm going to go here, knight f5. Or did I just blunder? He might have had knight b5 there. Doesn't do it. Okay, I'll take away knight b5. So on takes, I have knight f5 here. I mean, basically, if he castle, I'm going all into. To, crush him on the queen side here that's my goal at least whether I get there is a different story um can go knight c6 b5 also c4 also move um I'm thinking too long here actually knight g6 makes not a whole lot knight c6 or I'm just gonna go b5 here which is a mistake natural or maybe not I can go I was gonna take but I just was there's take takes 94 and I lose the game so now the game gets very messy because I'm going to be taking. It's also 94 here. Okay, it goes B4, which is wild. And now, of course, I take the Knight Guards the Rook. Of course, I take. Okay, this is getting kind of wild. I don't know what's going on here exactly. Got knight c4. I'm probably going to have to sack something somewhere. The good news is he's very slow. I'm going to need to put pressure on him on the clock for sure. Like knight d4, there's e5. I bet I'm actually much worse here according to the computer. But okay, I'll go f6 here. e5, big threat. Queen f7. I don't like my position, let's be honest. But... Yeah, I'm, I'm in trouble here, I think. Um, here, I guess. This is not good. I, I'm actually in real trouble, I think. But I've got E5, maybe? Very messy. I don't know what's going on here. Very, very messy. This is why you don't play the French. The French is a bad opening, objectively. Very, very messy. Maybe I'm okay. The good news is he's too slow. I think... Oh, he's got knight g6. No, but now I actually should be winning here. Wait a second. I can just take. Oh, wait. No, then he take... Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait. So I guess I have to go here to guard g7. I mean, I've got a big black center. That's got to count for something. He's also way too slow. I guess I pre move this. It goes there. Okay, so do I go to E6 or C6? A big question. I'm assuming I go to C6 just because I want to go D4 somewhere, but I don't... I want to go D4, E4, but I don't want to let my king get hit in the middle of the board, so I think this is right. I think I'm going to win the game now, actually, because I've got A5. I've got the big black center. He's got 20 seconds to boot. Yeah, I'm going to win this game, I'm pretty sure. I've, uh, A5 takes and Rook A8 makes a lot of sense, too. Now I can go d4. I think I'm just gonna go a5. Try to soften his queenside pawns. 
Um, let's go here, maybe. That was bad. Mistake for me. H4. No, I misplayed this. I, I was I was winning, and now I've made a mess out of this. Uh, here are no checks. Rook eight, two maybe. Threatening mate in one. This should be winning somehow. Rook eight, one. Two takes. Yeah, but now I take and I have check takes. Okay, good. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, now I just win. Okay. Takes and GG. There we go. We got the win. Three out of three. Let's keep rolling. Thank you to Archer Bear for the 12 months. Appreciate it. Thanks so much to Archer Bear. All right. Let's see. Magnus won his game. No surprise there. Everybody, everybody's starting to win their games. Maxime is going to win as well. Maxime's going to win too. Yeah. If it were a good opening, it would be called the French. That's for sure. What's this Wesley tweet? Guess what was played? Guess what White played here? <laughs> Yeah, guess guess what White played. <laughs> uh, yeah, Magnus on a thirty-one game unbeaten streak against people with an average rating of thirty thirty. Yeah, that's very interesting, right? Very interesting. Yeah, it's very interesting. Magnus has gone thirty-one games with with, with without uh, without losing. I mean, against three thousand level players, statistically that should be impossible. Should be statistically impossible, actually. Yeah. I think I think I think based on actual stats, it was not Magnus Carlson. Like if someone has as few games as he has, going on a 31 ge game of beaten streak against like a 3,000 actually probably is not possible, right? No, I'm not salty, of course, you guys. But I'm I'm making a joke out of the whole thing because it is a joke. Yeah. Explain the Wesley tweet. Uh, didn't Maxime miss a win with Queen B8? Why he's still gonna win the game? But wasn't Queen B8 winning? Um, yeah. Night, night A5. Whoa. I mean, he's still... Oh, no. He's up two pawns, not one. Sorry. So, it's an easy win for him. Never mind. Um, thanks so much to Classical Chess Sucks for a 20 months. Appreciate it. Cheers to another Christmas on the great green earth bar scar. Exactly. Exactly. So, yeah. Anyway. Um... Don't I think the Fide Grand Prix series was much better than the Fide Circuit to avoid these last minute events popping up? Yeah, I think the Fide, thank you, Mendy, for the 26. I think the Fide Circuit was good in terms of the concept, but I think the ability for 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 the situation with multiple multiple players being in it and having chance to organize events and everything else, maybe they don't directly organize, but events being organized for them is is very sketchy, very very sketchy. Um, thank you to Kunt Moon for the Prime. Thank you so much. Um, yeah. Like it's it's definitely not um it, it's it's de I think the concept is decent but the implementation has been very bad. Um that that's what I would say about it. Okay, game number 4 should be starting pretty soon. Or wait, that's all over. Okay. Uh Fruge is playing match for the rating spot. I mean, if you were to ask me right now what I think is going to happen, I think Fide is not going to raid it. Um, if, if you if you were to ask me right now, like you were put a gun to my head and ask me what I think is ultimately going to happen, I don't think Fide is going to rate the event. Thank you so much to Sergeant Animal Mother for the 41 months. Um, so yeah, that, that's that's what I would say. Um, because they have a precedence not to. I mean, they have a precedence, like they, as they say in their section, they they can choose not to rate it. Um, so like if you if you were to force me to like make make say what I think is going to happen, I don't think they're going to rate it. That's that's what I think. I don't think they're going to rate it. So, all right. 
Um, well, you see, the problem is it, it's also a lose-lose situation because, like, I'll, I'll be honest, it's a lose-lose. Like, if Ali Reza draws or loses the game, they're going to be like, okay, then it was legit, we can't do it. But if he wins every game, everyone's basically going to say, well, no, it wasn't legit. Obviously, there was some agreement or whatever ahead of time. So, like, it's a lose-lose situation, which is also why the idea of... Um, the, the idea of, of having... Um, of doing in the first place is just so 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 insane to begin with because there's no upside for Ali Reza there's no upside like if he goes perfect everyone's be like well yeah of course something happened and whatever and if he doesn't then it's well like you know it's, it's just lose lose all across the board it's just all, all it's lose lose across the board there's no there's no upside to it for him I, I just I mean I guess if he makes it in then yeah it's, that's the upside but I don't know like okay, let's go b3 But yeah, if you were to ask me right now what I think is going to happen, I don't think Fide is going to raid it. Um, let's go G3. Ah, G6. Okay. Let's go here. I guess I'll go E3. Maybe. Whoa, what is H5? Is that a mouse slip? Wait, I'm confused. What is this? Let's go. Let's go D4. I, I, this is a very unusual opening for my opponent. Actually, let me move the mic back a little. Very unusual opening. Hopefully, sound is still good. Okay, let's take the knight. He has H4, but then I get C4. My gut says this can't be good for black, but maybe I'm wrong. I just feel like he's so exposed on both sides of the board here. But maybe I'm wrong. We'll see. I mean, H3 is fine. H3 is playable. I mean, I guess I pre-move it. Ah, oh, that's actually a good... Ah, uh, wait. Did I make a mistake? I might have made a mistake. I'm going to try to get away with this. Okay, go here. I mean, the problem for my opponent is a diagonal. Like, if he could get bishop out 3, knight g4, he wins the game, but he can't. So, like, now I go, like, bishop e2. Have to play bishop e2. Oh. Go here to trade the bishops. Very, very strange position that we have here. You can still go back, I guess. Actually, why did I play bishop e2? I could have just played knight to bishop e3 and castle. What am I doing? I still think I should be fine here. This pawn on h3 should be a long-term weakness, I think. Here goes rook e8. Um, I can play knight f3. I can also go bishop e5, which I think is actually a very good move here. This pawn on h3 is either a big strength or a big weakness in the long term. Let's go here. Happy to trade the queens, because in an endgame, I'm going to assume this pawn is a big weakness. Yeah, it goes there. I can take... I can also go king e2. My assumption is I should take... And play like king e2. Or maybe... Uh, probably I should just play king e2 right away, but whatever. It goes d4. Of course, I drop back. I mean, the open files should matter, but I'm not sure if they will. Of course, I take with a king. Drop back and take. If I take with a pawn, there's knight g4, although that might have been better than this. Oh, I blunder knight f4 too. Great. Okay, I guess I have to play this end game. Got knight c4. I'm probably okay. I don't think I'm actually losing here. I've got knight c4 with the bastion and the connect three. It's got these weak pawns on the king side, maybe. Here, of course. Not king f4. Not maybe rookie one. How do I do this? Actually, wait. There's also b4. B3. Got f5. Okay, I have to be very careful how I play this. I think rook d2 is a good start. 
Now I can trade. I can also just go here and here. I should be okay. I don't think I'm losing. The question is, can I trick him and win the game? These pawns are all very, very weak on the king's side. Of course, I take. Now I have king g3. Position's improving here. My position's improving quite a bit. Yeah, it's even material. I've got king g3 here. Got f3. I don't know what he's doing. He's actually misplaying this. Let's just go f3. No, he's totally bungled this. Now, I think I'm actually going to win the game now. I think I'm going to win. He's gone very, very wrong. Okay, this does give me rook g2. Still not easy to win, though. Um... It's also rook d5. What's the right way to play this? Rook d5 looks correct. Um, g4 takes, takes, king h4, but she's 7 king h5. Probably just a, that's probably a draw, but the king g5. I, mm, if I go here, rook, ah, I've got 92. Wait, 92? Rook d1 takes, king g6. 94 takes, I see f3, king g3, f2 takes. Rook d2, rook a2 is a draw. G2, rook f1, knight d2, rook d1, rook g5, king f6, rook g2. It's two, pawn, it's two pawns. I also play knight d2 after king f6. There's also rook c2. King e5, king g3, king e4, king f2. Maybe. Yeah, it goes there. I can take first. No, it takes king f6. I think I should play here. Hit the rook. Right, now I take, and now do I go 94 now? 94 takes, 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 rook c2, king f5. In here, king e4. Four. I think it's win. Oh, he's got e3, though. e3, rook c2. He's got e3, so no, I should just go here. Oh my god, I just blundered. Oh, great. Oh, shoot, I just blundered. I'll go here to force him to trade, maybe? I missed that. Okay, go here. Oh, that was a blunder too. Oh, great. Now I'm just throwing the game away. doesn't work it's a draw still shoot <sighs> 70 second move stupid the up of pawn I mean, maybe it wasn't winning but uh, maybe it was never winning
Yeah. Yeah, it's 50 moves, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right, I think good looks for the time. Thank you, Karaki. Thank you, Synchro. Thank you, Captain Julio. He played well. He played very well there. It was all correct. Yeah, I blundered here. Maybe I had something better. Rookie two. Ah, 93. That's how. Ah, 93. This was the move that I needed. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you, Yab over the five. I mean, this guy's very good. He's like, tw he's like 2650. Classical. No, he's a very good player. 93 is what I needed. Although it's interesting, even this is not clear. Even this is not clear for white. Wow. Even this is still a draw. Interesting. No, Fandarin is Shigai. He's like 2650. He's a very, very good player. Very good player. Um, all right. That's the end of round four, which means we're on our first break. So I'll be right back. Thank you, Tiburon, for the 20 months. Give me a second. All right, guys. What happened? Um... Are you with Team Ferruja or Team So? I don't think anybody's with anybody. No. Um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, I think the bottom line is, uh, why is the leaderboard buggy? Because it's on tie breaks. It's not based on rating. Day is going well so far. I mean, tough fourth game. Probably had some chance to win. Couldn't win. It happens. Stream quality, we should be on 1080p unless I'm missing something. But we should be there. Should be. So, anyway. All right, so we're on three and a half out of four. So far, pretty decent. Um, what was the opponent's game? Dan Moreno, you tough opponent. I don't know what that means, but um, yeah. It looks good to me. What was the problem? Uh, the motherboard. Mother motherboard was busted. Yeah. Am I upset to lose the CCT? I'm not happy with the quality of my play. The result overall was good. Um, Magus will resign if he gets Hans. <laughs> Actually, you're right. You're right. Uh, that is looking like a possible. It's not going to happen this round um, because there are too many people lower rate. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven guys below. At least eight, nine, nine guys. Who's this guy? 2653 on four out of four. Okay. Yeah, 20, 2653 on four out of four. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah. <clears throat> interesting interesting right yeah yeah no so i think um i think yeah there are eight players lower rated than hans so hans won't play magnus here no not gonna happen so all right Yay! so thanks so much to spartan um thanks so much to spartan sniper for the 10 months thank you all i was is winning his game of course he's winning his game like I said, I don't know what Fide is going to do, but my, my gut says that they're not going to raid. That's just my gut. I, I think that they're going to basically, like, at some point, they're, they're, they're like, I, I mean, I guess within the rules, it's it's fine, but they do have an out. They have an excuse not to raid it. I don't think they're going to raid it just because it's going to look really bad, and I think it's going to give people a lot of ideas, too. But at the end, at any rate, we'll see. Um, yeah. Why I keep playing instead of taking the pawn? Just to draw draw out the game. I mean, it was, it was a draw. There's no way I could win. O only my opponent could win there. Um, so, yeah. Hans is using your flare. What? No. Who? This is this is my flare? I can't even tell. That's my flare? No, you can't see the flare. I, I actually... Is, is that me? I, I Actually, I don't know. I'm going to be honest. I don't know. Is that my flare? It's me. I, how come I? How do I make it larger? I see it, but I can't make it larger. Press it. I'm pressing. I'm pressing on it. Yeah, I'm, I press on. I press on the flare of the diamond or anything. It doesn't show. It doesn't show anything. Yeah, like even this guy down here, Bessie. Like I'm trying to click on the fist. I'm trying to click on the fist, and it doesn't show it. Yeah. Go to his profile. Where does it show? Oh, there. Oh, there it shows. <laughs> Okay. Uh, is, is that a good thing or not, by the way? Yeah. No, I was saying, is that a good thing that I click on the flare? It shows it shows all my profile settings. That's kind of bad, actually. That's kind of bad if it directs there. Because I could have leaked something. That, that literally showed all my personal privacy settings off of clicking off of that. No, no, I mean, that's, that's a little bit bad at chess.com that I click on the flare. It shows all my personal settings. 
Um, I, I think the, the actual leak stuff is not right there, but still, that's bad. That's really bad if, you, if it happens to be your flare. You click on it, like, I don't know. Not good. So, so thank you to Zoogle for the nine months. Thank you to Zoogle. Appreciate it. Will I beat Magnus' rating? I mean, I'll get over 3,300 again at some point. I don't know if it'll be like this week, next week, when. But the thing is that the problem really for me is that even if I get over 3,300, let's play the French because it worked so well last time. Hint, it didn't. Um, uh, is that like the problem is that like I have to make sure that I get over 3,300 on like Wednesday. So that I have Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I have five days to try and get my rating up before Title Tuesday and Arena Kings roll around. Because once Arena Kings and Title Tuesday happen I mean the chances of me not losing points are very low arena king specifically like on average I think I lose 50 points every arena kings um so I really need to um I think knight f6 is what uh Jim degrees he, he he actually was crushing me in some game online recently is this bad for me or not I don't I don't know d4 I have c4 not sure but whatever Bro, I got a 30 second ad. What do you want? This is Twitch, you guys, not kick. There is a winning prize, $1,000. But like for all the top guys, it's really not about the, it's not about the grand prize. Um, I have Bishop A6 maybe. Or I think I'm going to go for it. Yeah, I think I'm going to go for Bishop A6. D5 takes, takes, takes should be fine. Go here, hit the pawn, hit the pawn. Now I guard, because like if I were to take, take, then suddenly the scope's open. But now now I'm threatening to take because the queen guards the rook. And so I think I'm in very, very good shape here. I'll pre-move in case he pushes. I don't think he will. Yay! I think he'll probably take c5. Yeah, so he takes. Of course, I take. Goes rookie one. I could trade the queens here. Um, I guess I just will. Maybe just bishop d5, create the wooden shield right away. Just to guard everything. It was knight g5. Interesting move. Um, pun unintended, of course. <laughs> um, I'll just castle. Why not? I feel like my position is pretty good here. He's got a weakness on b2. Um, I think I'm doing well. I don't know if it's clean or not. Thank you so much to Matt Bow for the 20 some months. Appreciate it. Thank you so much to Matt Bow. Goes 94, which I don't actually. I feel, I feel slightly wrong. I don't know why, but it just feels wrong. Let's go here. Try to activate these knights. Knight before also. Actually, knight before might have been might have been better, maybe. I don't know. But I still have knight d4. I've got rook d8. I've got two great b shops here. Um, I feel like I'm doing well. But I could be wrong on that. I feel like I'm knight d6. What does knight d6 do exactly? Nothing. Um, okay, so if I trade, he's going to take with the king. Somehow I've misplayed this. Whoa, what? Whoa, wait a second. Wait. Wait, what is that? That's just a huge blunder, I think. I mean, Bishop H6 maybe is a move here? No, no, I just take the knight. No, no, he just blundered. I just won the game. Okay. Yeah, strange. He, he had to take the bishop. Big mistake. Okay, we're going to get the win. Move to four and a half out of five. Um, Magnus already won. Who did Magnus play? How did Magnus win that quickly? What the heck? Let's go here and hit the rook and the bishop. Or the rook and the knight, I should say. How did Magnus win that quickly? Crazy. Thank you so much to three babies for the tier one. Thank you so much to three babies. Resigns. Okay, we got the win. Uh, four and a half out of five. Let's watch Hans's game. Hans is playing Vugar Gasulov. Or Vugar Rasulov, I should say. Um, looks like Hans is better here, but not clear cut. Bishop d5, Bishop g6, both in play. I mean, everyone's rooting for Hans to win, right? Yeah, I mean, everyone Everyone is rooting. Things are just scrapped for the 27 months. I mean, I, I think everyone's rooting for... Every, everyone's rooting. Hans with the Ikaru Flare is wild. Eh. I don't know if he's trolling. He's being serious. I, I mean, I, I really have no idea. But, um, I, I mean, at this point, I, I mean... All, all, all my... Um, 
yeah all, all my all my general views are like you know it's just such a mess everything is he will win yeah hmm Bishop d3 I mean everyone I mean like I, I don't know I mean you know who is rooting for Hansa in this game specifically is Levy he's he's rooting he's rooting for uh he's, he's rooting for Levy I mean if, if you're Levy you're rooting for Hans to win this game you're you're absolutely rooting more than anyone else in the entire entire world um because Hans playing Magnus will make Levy like five thousand dollars so um so yeah so if you're Levy you're praying that Hans win that Hans and Magnus have to play uh, I could play Magnus absolutely absolutely so okay uh apparently Bishop d4 is good for black here but Hans is actually in trouble Hans is actually in trouble here after Bishop d4 it's not um it's not so clear-cut anymore yeah I mean I'll make a video too but it's not gonna get as many views um okay let's see what will uh Hans play here there's Queen a5 there's also Queen c6 is that prime yeah they sent me some they sent me it so like I figure I'd try it like um <clears throat> they sign it free yeah <clears throat> so anyway it's okay I mean it, it doesn't taste bad that's for sure by the way Hans has messed this up he's he's probably not gonna win anymore um 200k what 200k what yeah I don't know probably will be a draw we're not moving to kick today we're on Twitch all day actually Hans has chances Queen c6 Queen c7 he has chance to win this game now because Vugard's gonna have a weak pawn although everything's pinned here no okay Queen d1's not it because now black will just sit and wait and it'll be a draw yeah now 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 it's just gonna be a draw or unless Hans can get Queen c3 maybe maybe so all right what do I think about Ali Reza? I've already spoken about it. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Maybe some chances for Hans here, maybe. Knight d2, knight b3, queen e3 also, maybe. Yeah. How do you think brain chips will impact chess? I mean, chess will cease to exist. No, I mean, if brain chips become a thing and you can't prevent people from having them, chess is done. Just done, period. Chess will cease to function as a professional game, sport, whatever you want to call it. It's queen b1, queen e4, draw it. Yeah, I mean, it's still queen c2, king f1. I mean, at least now Hans is king. Oh, no, but there's still queen e4. It's still a draw. Just check. Yeah. Queen e4. Just check. Queen e4. I mean, every, everything draws here. Queen e4. Bishop d8 or e7. Take six. Yeah, still a draw. What? Oh, what? What is F3? What is F3? Come on. Oh, you cannot. Oh. And there goes all the content for the day for, for everybody who's salivating, uh, salivating over the content. There, there goes all the content for the day. There, there goes all the content, you guys. Levy and Shambles. Yeah, there goes the content. Okay, this should be a draw. Rook h4 or rook g3, all roads lead to row. Yeah. Oh, but maybe white can win. You put the bishop on a8, put the bishop on a8 and move the rook or something. Rook c3, rook b2. King f2. Okay, this will be a draw. Yeah. Have I ever met um, Hans? Actually, you know, I never have. I, I've never even spoken to him in person, ever. Uh, King G3, okay, this is just a draw. King, King G4, King G5. So many people on five out of five. Um, two, three, four, five, six, seven people, yeah. Yeah. Rook E4 is a draw. Why do I feel like White's somehow gonna win this game? Rook E4, oh my gosh. Or key three. Okay, draw. Okay, good.
Thank you, Rosso Alfieri, for the 43 months. Thank you so much, Rosso Alfieri. I appreciate it.